Nick, I want to throw it over to you and ask you to give us a, uh, an example of a specific program that Verizon is working on to really further this emergency communications uh, community. Yeah, absolutely, Luke. Um, so I I'm going to be deferential to one of my uh, fellow panelists here and say that uh, I, I think one of the most important programs that we participate in as Verizon is the Wireless Priority Service Program uh, with uh, with DHS CISA as lead. We've been a we've been a participation a participatory party in that uh, for over ten years now, and uh, we were the first to offer four G LTE Volti. Uh, so voice over LTE services with, uh, with WPS, with wireless priority service. And this service is incredibly important for public safety. Uh, and we encourage the adoption of WPS services for, for everybody that has access to it and eligibility for it. It uh, gives you priority access to the network for your voice calls and you get moved up to the front of the line. Uh, and we continue to invest in supporting that program. We're very excited to be, continue to be partners for DHS CISA to continue to deliver priority service across the network, uh, any spectrum band across uh, the entire Verizon network uh, for all public safety. And last year we enabled interoperability with our, our partners over at AT&T so that those calls could go through end to end. So we're incredibly proud of WPS. But uh, what we did recently over the last couple of years is add that into data priority as well. And so how do I take the good work that DHS CISA has done to enable WPS voice priority and allow that, enable that for data as well, because we know that data is becoming even uh, almost as important, sometimes more important uh, than voice in certain situations. And so enabling that with our mobile broadband priority and our private network traffic management tools uh, to give first responders, to give public safety, uh, both voice uh, with WPS and data access priority to the network, wherever they are, whenever they need it, they never need to ask, uh, it's always on, always available. That paired with preemption so that we actually remove consumers from the network when first responders need to get access on both of those systems. And I think those two really lead the way in terms of importance uh, as, as per to a program for, for public safety.